Hey, what's going on YouTube? How's everybody doing? It's Monday morning. Um, yesterday was the Super Bowl. Um, my team didn't make it. I'm a New York Giants fan. We, we didn't do too good, but I had fun watching the Super Bowl overall, you know? Um, right now, I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. It's pretty nice out right now. I just drove all night and, you know, about to relax in a little bit. But the topic of today's video is the Philippines is not only for older guys. So when I started this journey about three years ago, um, you know, I reached out to some expats and, you know, to see how I can get over there, earn a living and whatnot. And other than, I want to say, retired military and rich businessmen, the overwhelming majority of foreigners that I saw over there were older retirees, guys in their 60s and up, you know, some in their 50s, but mostly in their 60s and above. And their advice to me was to wait a little while, you know, get a pension, work for 30 years like they did. And, you know, that didn't seem too appealing to me because I know I would see some vloggers who are younger over there. And I know that there had to be some way. If there's a will, there's a way um, for a younger guy to, over there to make it. And I had to like dig a little bit deeper, you know, a lot deeper because even though there are some young guys over there, most of the foreigners over there are older. And, you know, I started, you know, discovering that there is a way to earn a living over there. It's a new generation, especially with COVID. COVID has changed the way that we live now. Um, probably for the next, you know, I can't say exactly when, but for the foreseeable future, COVID has definitely changed the way that we live. Um, according to Upwork.com, the number of remote workers in the United States right now is one in four or 26 percent. You know, it's one in four Americans in the workforce has a remote job. Um, according to CNBC, the number of remote jobs that have skyrocketed from 2020 to, to today is actually 460 percent. That's almost five times in two years, five times what it was two years ago. So for the foreseeable future, and they're saying this is going to be a longer term trend with, with COVID going on and companies seeing that um, they can actually cut out the overhead by having workers work from home and it's more productive and whatnot. And it favors also not just expats, but single mothers, people with disabilities, all types of things. Um, it looks like the work from home trend is here to stay. And with that comes, you know, remote work, you know, um, I know right now, I know quite a few people or right now who are what you call digital nomads. I have a friend of mine right now. He's a digital marketer in, in the Philippines. He just started doing it about 18 months ago. He's about my age. And he is earning right now with the second job, a little over $60,000 a year or in Filipino pesos, 3 million pesos. Um, another friend of mine, he has this TESOL certification that's teaching English as a second language. And he's earning right now um, online work once again too. He's earning about forty to forty-five thousand dollars a year, and in a country where the average citizen earns three thousand dollars a year, and I know that many of us have seen the you know cost of living videos in the Philippines, and you know how much rent is, how much food is, and as long as you you know you watch your lifestyle, you're not too extravagant. Making that kind of money puts you in the upper, upper echelons, like upper classes, you know. You have a much better quality of lifestyle. And, you know, I'm predicting that you're going to see younger expats, not just older guys, but guys my age and even younger who are willing to take that chance for a better um, quality of life, you know. Here in America, things are, you know, the, the, it seems that inflation, the cost of everything is going up, but wages are not. You know, rents are going up, the cost of food's going up, the cost of gas is all skyrocketing. And even though we make more money over here, it doesn't really balance out to the cost of everything. Everything over here is a lot more expensive, a lot more expensive. So, you know, the Philippines is not just, just for old men anymore. This is a new generation and we have to realize that, you know, it's, you know, you have guys of my generation that are more willing to take chances now due to the changing t technological innovations you know we have changing technologies emerging technologies and things are different as long as you are willing to learn a new skill um you know and you know just willing to you know um broaden your horizons 
you should be able to flourish in not just the Philippines. You can go to Cambodia, Thailand, um, India, Colombia, any country you could think of that the cost of living is cheaper and it has a decent quality of lifestyle. You can do these same things and go anywhere. You know, there's, and there's a plethora, you know, a multitude full of jobs like there's digital marketing, social media marketing, SEO, that's search engine optimization. Um, um, teaching English is a huge, huge field now. English is the language of business right now, and you know, there's like there seems to be just like a wave of Asian countries that want to learn English, you know, and that seems to be a huge market. And they're going after mainly American um, speakers because for some reason our accent is the more preferred accent of you know business, you know, and also from England and Canada. I think America is first. Well, don't quote me on this. America is first, and England and Canada are like second and third because we have similar accents. Even though the British accent is a little bit different, and you can still we can still understand each other. But um, you know, teaching English online is uh, is, is another huge one. Web developing, um, software engineer, you know, just you know, do your research also, you know, because I'm sure there's going to be more jobs that are coming out as well um, as the, the years go on. But yeah, we have, and this generation right here is lucky though, you know, to, with technology emerging, we don't have to stay stagnant in our home countries. We can go um, elsewhere, earn an American or German or Canadian wage and live, you know, an upper middle class to wealthy lifestyle, you know, save up a, a large portion of our money because we're still getting the same pay rate, but we're, we're you know, we're able to bring home, bring in a lot more. You know, we can save more towards retirement. There's so much, you know, benefits that come with you know, working, you know, online, you know, um, remotely. There's just a, like a lot of benefits there. So, you know, the Philippines is just, just not for older guys. You know, um, I'm sure if there's younger guys who are on my page now that have thought about moving overseas and you've been kind of like stonewalled by the older guys who are telling, you, oh, you need to wait to retirement. And that's how things were back then. This is the 22nd century, the 21st century. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm jumping into the future now, you know? Um, this is the 21st century, you know, it's 2022 right now. And with the, the, the way things are going right now, the trend, you know, that's that that no longer remains true, man. So that's all. I just wanted to shit off the top of my head, you know. Um, like I said, a, a big part of my channel is to show that, you know, you know, me, a younger guy can go out there and do the same thing, thing that these older guys are doing, you know, and. Like I said, as I, you know, the weeks come closer to me leaving, you know, I'll drop that date down soon. Um, you know, I would like for you guys to, you know, share my journey and see me living out there, living a good lifestyle, earning money, and seeing what I'm doing, you know? So, you know, that's about it though, you know? Um, I thank you for your time. Um, if there's any topics that anyone wants to see, you know, please feel free to drop it in the comment section below. And, you know, you guys have a good day. God bless.